messed up all my Aladdin jokes the last time. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here and I hope you're doing well. So today we are revisiting and checking out My Vegas Slots Mobile. And this time we're going to check out the new game Genie's Palace. So if you played this weekend, you probably already got a taste of it. But for those of you who decided to wait around and see if this is a game worth playing, well, this is your opportunity to check that out now. So let's go ahead and load in and we'll get started. But before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a new tool that I've been using. It's called LD Player. Yes, LD Player, that's the new application that I've been using to test out the My Vegas, My Konami, Pop Slots, and even Win Slots applications. It's a basic Android emulator, but the nice thing is that it does offer a couple extra little features that a lot of other emulators don't. You can pick your phone, you can do full 1080p gaming, and it does have a couple extra little features like increasing frame rates, especially if you have a stronger computer that can handle these sorts of things. It might be a good way about playing your mobile games. Not just my Vegas games, but it can enhance your gaming experience on other mobile apps as well. It even has custom settings for League of Legends. That's kind of neat. If you guys want to go ahead and give it a try, check the description box down below. It's a free download, and if you use my affiliate link, you're supporting the channel. Just FYI. But enough about that, let's get to our experiment. Alright there, Spinners and Sharks, so y'all know the drill in these games over here. Basically what happens is we set a bet level. In this case, it's going to be 9.9 .9 million chips per spin. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to spin it down. 100 times, meaning that we'll be putting 990 million chips through the machine throughout this whole experiment here. So let's see how we do. Let's put 100 spins on the clock on your mark, get set, ready, and go. All right. And it looks immediately like this is another Electro Link game over here, so this will be interesting to see if we can actually pull off. Uh, oh, she keeps disappearing over there. That's interesting. That, uh, I keep watching the background over here. Anytime you click something, it seems to make something poof out of nowhere, so that's kind of neat. I guess that's the wish mechanic there. Oh no, maybe it's just on a cycle or something. Oh, so yeah, you can click the plants and then they disappear. Which is a shame that I've discovered this because... I have enough time to click around on the plants because not enough is happening on the screen. That's a shame. That is not a strong way to start a game uh, play studio, it's just FYI. But uh, good to know, good to know that the background's at least a little interactive. Here's hoping we get to see that free spins feature or at least get some Electro Link action going here. I do love the Electro Link games because they do offer another way of getting bonuses, but it looks like we're already down 100 million chips within the first 20 spins, and we just haven't gotten anywhere. And that's a real shame. I've heard people on the My Vegas Gifts Guides and Giveaways group say that this one's a little tight. I'm hoping that's not true, and I'm hoping that we get some good wins off of this one here. But it looks like we're already almost 30 spins in, actually. You know what? Right about now, this is spin number 30, if I counted correctly. So that's, that's pretty rough. But, you know, we're going to keep spinning. We're going to stay at it. And we're going to keep collecting loyalty points, too, because as long as we're in here and... Uh, going through then we're getting loyalty points and that's the most important thing and that's gonna get us to fake to Vegas that's gonna get us to Vegas a whole lot faster what's Vegas isn't that Fargus I feel like there's a there's a joke in there one of the guys from uh, men in tights wasn't it Vegas <laughs> I don't know but we want to get to Vegas a whole lot faster that's what happens when you try to combine faster in Vegas at the same time but now that we're on our way down Let's see how that goes. Actually, you know what? Speaking of Vegas, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this in the comment section down below. So, Yellow Productions, that's uh, Christopher, Chris and Topher, they released a video rather recently stating that a few airlines are evidently... Oh, are we going to get that lamp? Let's get that lamp. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, so close. Oh, those near misses. Near missiles for near misses confirmed. Anyway, though, 
Oh, okay, now it wants to load up some lamps. Ugh. Wow, we're already down to 45 spins left. That's a shame. Oh! Oh! Hold up! Hold up! We got Electro Link! Let's go! So, what I wanted to ask you guys before we tap on these, I wanted to know how do you guys feel about airlines requiring a COVID vaccine? before, you know, all this happens. Oh, hold up. The lamps pop out with extra... Oh, man. Okay, so they put up extra little uh, electro balls over here. And then they give you a little bonus, too. So that's kind of neat. And I guess I gotta tap this, too. Let's go, let's go. Alright, that's just 20 million. Okay, that's not too bad, but I was gonna ask how you guys feel about that happening. Are you comfortable with the airlines requiring the COVID vaccine before you travel? And, oh, what's this? That's a bonus. That's a two times bonus. All right. And it's still going over here. So it's just giving us chips and then occasionally it fills out the board over here. And now we still get the spin. Well, that's kind of neat. But yeah, are you guys planning your Vegas trip over a potential COVID vaccine? Uh, getting your vaccine, so on and so forth. As you guys know from the podcast, I've already uh, had my first dose, and I this weekend had my second dose. So, so far so good. No amazing spider powers yet, but no second head yet, so there's that. So we'll just see how the whole thing goes. But it looks like we got ourselves a minor jackpot, which is 96 million. Not quite enough to get us uh, over the hump there, but we did all right. And it looks like the lamps won't pay off anymore. I think if you get three of those, you actually end up with free spins, according to... Yeah, according to this, I think. Something about the lamp tells me you get free spins there. I'll have to check again. I thought I read that online. But we'll see. Oh, can we get one more lamp? Can we get another lamp in here? Come on, let's get this genie! No, why can't we have free spins? That's my only wish. I wish for free spins. But this genie isn't listening. No, what we need? We need a casino host. I think casino hosts are better than genies, frankly. <laughs> That's where we're at. We need a casino host in this game instead of a genie. Actually, no, that would be interesting, too. I'd love to hear from anybody that has a My Vegas host. So I'd love to see what that experience is like. Maybe we can interview you for the podcast and they can tell me exactly what the experience is like. I'd love to make a video about that, but I just don't have the wherewithal to invest a thousand dollars in the video game. Oh man, we are so close. I'd, I'd just love to know how often you play, how much you play, so if you have a My Vegas host, for whatever reason, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Oh, alright, 24 million, that's not bad off of a regular spin. That was pretty good. Yeah, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section down below. Or um, if you want to reach out to me on Instagram, the other social media accounts that go with this, yada, yada, yada. You know, you know where to follow me. You know how to find me. That's all I got there. All right, so we're getting a little closer. See if this genie wants to actually grant our wish. I want free spins. We're going to get that. I guess we can't get a hand pay here. There's no way to get a hand pay. Your hand pay is your My Vegas Rewards. That's what the hand pay is. So if you get premium rewards, that's your hand pay, basically. <laughs> so, let's see. Alright, these last few spins here. I'm hoping that we get some sort of feature. I think the Electro Link is the only feature that they offer. And we're down to our last seven. Actually, six spins now. So let's see how it all goes. Uh, we're getting closer, though. Oh, man, that, those wilds would have been great. Two more. Let's do this. All right, we got one more spin to go. Finish it off. Finish strong. Oh, no dice. We got magic carpet. We got jewels. We got the genie. No Abu, though. Um, no Aladdin. And the lamp is just over here. That's a shame. I was really looking forward to that. So, it looks like we're ending with 7 billion... 73,210,422 chips. So then, Spinners and Sharks, you guys know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and do some maths and uh, count up the booty. 
All right there, spinners and sharks. So we got a little bit of bad news here. This is not Shenron time. It looks like our wish was not granted. So according to this, we lost 177,884,400 chips, leaving us with a payback percentage of 82.03%. So unfortunately, that is not enough to land Genie's Palace in the best games in my Vegas series. Well, I suppose it is, but spoiler warning, you're not going to be on the favorites list. It's just not going to be on the favorites list. That is what it is, and that's a shame. But, uh, you know, not all of them can be bangers. I feel like they would have loosened this up a little more for opening week, but it just didn't happen. So if we're playing in a short period of time, or you just gotta keep this thing open, I guess you could play this one at minimum, uh, minimum bet. And not have to worry about losing too many chips, so that's not too bad. Alright, and next time we come back, I think we're finally gonna tackle King and Kraken. There have been so many vlogs and so many streams and podcasts I've wanted to do, and I just haven't gotten around to reviewing this game yet. And I really do want to review King and Kraken, so maybe we'll check that out next time. I've seen some interesting things about it in my Vegas Gifts Guides and Giveaways group. So if we get some cool stuff there, we'll check it out. But until next time, Swinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Alright there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Well, now that we got the gaming out of the way, at least on the application side of things, let's try something a little more physical. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva.